So in today's episode, a dream that a lot of people have been waiting for has been confirmed in the anime. Shiny Hunters exist! Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam4414 or Tony. How's everybody doing today? So, today's episode is called Raid Battle in the Ruins. So, remember that Lugia Raid Battle back in episode 1? Correction, episode 2? Um, where they didn't catch anything? There's another Raid Battle! And, Shiny Hunters exist! Like, specifically, a guy in this episode has a blue Psyduck. Which makes me wonder, and I think the answer might be yellow, but I'm not sure. What color is regular Psyduck? Feel free to post that in the comments. That'll be the question of the day. What color is a regular Psyduck? Anyway, with this episode, Ash and Go go to the Unova, Unova region. And the interesting thing is they go to, I guess, the Desert Resort. Which is interesting in the aspect of, in the original anime, when they were, uh, in the black and white anime, they never did that. Um, in Japan, there was an episode that was supposed to be done where they were going to go to the Desert Resort and a big thing with Team Rocket versus Team Plasma. Uh, but that was skipped for, um, I don't remember why. I know there was a, I think it might have been that there was an earthquake or something at the time or something like that. Some disaster down there caused them to skip it here. And I think they skipped it there too. So anyway, with that said, they go to the ruins. And Go brings his Beedrill. Because uh, they meet up with a girl, don't remember her name, but she asks them if they have flying Pokemon. And apparently they attach them to ropes, and the Pokemon, like, fly and pull them across the, uh, the sandstorm place. Like, so Ash, or Go uses his Beedrill, Ash uses his Dragonite, and the girl, who also has a Metatype, by the way, uses a Braviary. The interesting thing about that is, originally my thoughts were, hey, they're gonna fly on them, and I'm like... Go's not going to fit on a Beedrill. I don't think anybody can fly on a Beedrill. But anyway. In this episode, Go catches... A... I was about to say Sand Dial, but that's later. Um, what's the first thing he catches? Go catches a... The heck else did he... Uh... Darmanitan, that's it. He, like, he pretty much sees the Darmanitan, and he just, I think uh, he has um, Score Bunny, you, no, he just throws a ball at it, pretty much, and catches it. And then he sees a sand dial, and Ash, continuity, Ash remembers, hey, Electric electric moves won't work on Sandow in case he tries. Pikachu's gonna attack it with an electric move and it doesn't work. So, Go has Score Bunny use Double Kick, and then he catches the Sandile. And then later, there's a raid battle between this girl, uh, the main girl. I don't remember her name. Um, actually, no. Rephrase that. Let me go back a bit. They run into two, uh, Golurk, and, no, not Golurk, two Cofagrigus, and Go wants to catch one, but the girl, I still don't remember her name, says that they can't catch them because they're, uh, someone's inside of it. Apparently, they float closer to the ground when they're being held down by something being inside of them. So, um, Ash again tries to have Pikachu attack it with an electric move, and goes like, yeah, you can't attack Golurk with electricity because electricity doesn't work. 
So then I think they have, um, if I remember correctly, double kick again. And basically out pops this guy named Shane Seeker. And his Psyduck, which, blue, which is blue. So yeah, shiny Psyduck. He says he's a shiny hunter. He shows us a Pokemon, but voice, or, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what the heck do you call it? Um, the voice thing, voiceover, or what? I can't think of what it's called, but, uh, the audio description, that's what I'm looking for, does not tell us what the other Pokemon are. I assume it's on the screen, but it doesn't tell us. But yeah, so then... They, the ma the main girl, who I still can't remember her name, um, basically tells them there are booby traps in these ruins. And then, and then they find a, I guess there are blue dots, like five different blue dots. Whenever each of them, like, push it a certain way, it releases a, a certain, it releases a certain, the heck is the word I'm looking for? Like, I guess it releases the ruins, like, a certain, uh, signal to tell them what, to, and out of that comes a Golurk. So, and it's a giant Golurk. Um, so apparently they have a raid battle. Ash uses Dragonite. Go uses Darmanitan. And yeah, and then the other guy uses, I think, his Psyduck. Uh, the girl uses her Metatite, I think, and I don't remember what the other guy uses. Um, but yeah, they basically do a raid battle, which is rem reminiscent of the one from, like I said at the beginning, with the Lugia in the second episode. So they do a raid battle. Um, they manage to... Knock it out, then go catches it. <laughs> but yeah, the, um, that's pretty much it. Go insta at the end of this episode. Go has a new sand dial, a new Darmanitan, and a Golurk. I'm still kind of surprised he didn't try to catch the. Um, the what the heck do you call that thing? I can never remember what it's called. The uh, what do you call it? The other Pokemon, the one that there are two of. The uh, um the yeah, I'll probably remember it later. Like I'm surprised he doesn't try to catch the other Pokemon that they still saw two of whenever the um whenever Shane Seeker and the side up pop out. I'm surprised he doesn't try to catch it, but he does not. Cofagrigus, that's it. That was it. Yeah, he didn't try to catch either of them. But anyway, that's the gist of this episode. Once again, the question of the day is, what is Psyduck's original color? And what's your favorite shiny Pokemon? Anyway, um... Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. God bless you guys. Stay safe and uh, peace. See you next Sunday. Bye. You're listening to Saiyan 4414. Feel free to subscribe or listen to this again. <laughs>